Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 51 of chapter 6 of Fundamentals of Physics. An airplane is flying in a horizontal circle at a speed of 408 km per hour. If its wings are tilted at angle 40 degrees to the horizontal, what is the radius of the circle in which the plane is flying? Assume that the required force is provided entirely by an aerodynamic lift that is perpendicular to the wing surface. Ok, let's solve the problem. Let's start drawing the forces acting on the plane. So we have, of course, the weight of the plane here, mg. And the lift, the aerodynamic lift here, perpendicular to the wings of the plane. So here you have the lift force. Let's represent now the angles. So you have here, let's, here we have. Let's do it again better. You have an horizontal line and also a vertical line. And if we have theta here, we have also theta here. And if, if we have theta here, we'll have theta here also. Therefore, here we have these angles, so we can sum the force applying the second law of Newton. So, sum the forces in the vertical direction, we can write that the sum of the forces in the vertical direction will be zero, because we won't have any movement in the vertical direction. Therefore, the projection of the lift in the vertical direction, that is, the lift multiplied by cosine of theta minus mg, the weight, equals to zero. This implies that the lift force will be mg divided by cosine of theta. Now let's sum the force in the x direction, or in the horizontal direction. The sum of the forces in the horizontal direction will be the mass times the acceleration. And we know the acceleration because the, the plane will be doing a circular motion. So, we can write that the only force we have in the horizontal direction is the projection of the lift. So let's do it, let's project the lift. We will have here FL multiplied by sine of theta equals M times the acceleration. And here we have the centripetal acceleration because we have a circular motion. The lift is mg divided by cosine, so we have mg divided by cosine of theta multiplied by sine of theta. This equals m v squared divided by the radio. Now we can cancel the mass and find the radius. The radius will be v squared. Here we have sine divided by cosine, that is tangent, so we have g tangent of theta. This is the solution of the problem, but we have to use, we have, we will, we will substitute our numerical values, and it's necessary 
to be cautious because here we have our speed in kilometers per hour and our acceleration normally we write it in meters per second so let's transform the velocity to meters per hour so we have 408 kilometers per hour each kilometers is 1000 meters each hour is 3600 seconds so you have the velocity or the speed or the speed in meters per second let's use our calculator here we will have four hundred times ten four hundred times ten divided by third six that is one hundred thirty three meters per second. Therefore the radius will be one hundred thirty three squared divided by 9.81 times the tangent of 40 degrees the radius will be let's see squared the velocity divided by 9.81 times tangent of 40 degrees So we we'll have two thousand one hundred and six meters, and that's it. Very simple problem, and here we have the problem is solved. Mm -hmm.